Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. Yamantaka 17. Today is going to be an amazing vlog about an amazing bike. This is the KTM ADB 390. It's brilliantly tuned and well modified. It's got everything on it that you want. And uh, let me walk you around this machine. I just test rode it. It's gonna be brilliant. So let's get to the video, guys. So this is my friend's bike. He called me to show all of his modifications. Hi Sharik. Hi guys, my name is Sharik Ahmed. Uh, I live in Bangalore. So this is my friend uh, Nibiki yeah. and he wanted to see, he was desperate to see my bike and the mods I've done to it. So basically we'll be going around through the bike and showing you all the mods step by step through each phase. Yeah, so these are the mods. These mods are like top class mods which have been internet research and these mods haven't been compromised on anything, literally. Yeah, literally yeah, on anything. Yeah. So I spent a lot of time and research on these mods. Yes. So these are the protection mods we'll go through first. Yes. So the first mod is the headlight guard. Yes. This is from Motor On. Yeah. So this will cost me around like 2500 rupees. Yeah. Uh, Indian rupees I'm talking about. Yeah. This is the uh, windshield. From Carbon Racing, carbon I suppose. Racing. Carbon racing, yeah. So carbon racing windshield. So basically, this is more affordable and more like uh, and good in terms of uh, safety and wind blast and everything. Yes. Uh, compared to the GV ones. Correct. GV ones are very expensive and with the fitting, it costs you around fifteen thousand something like that. Yeah. So I found this to be a really good deal for it. So I got this. So next, we go on to the fork sliders. Yes. Uh, these are from Zana. Yes. This cost me around 1,200 or something like that. I'm not really sure about the amount. Yeah. Okay. And next one, we go on to the guards. Uh, we have the we have the tank guard from Auto Engineer. Okay. The Auto Engineer tank guard it comes in, in two separate pieces. Okay, so it's modular. It's modular. Yeah. So it comes in two separate pieces. One is for the tank. One is for the engine. Got so it. If you notice, it's not a single piece. Got it. So it's basically and it's mounted not mounted to the chassis. It's mounted mostly to the uh, like subframe. Subframe. Yeah. Okay. So okay. it's more like so more stiff. It's more stiff and, and uh, if you notice here, it's go mounted down to here also, the Auto Engineer ones. So it's more okay, sturdy. Got it, got it. Okay. Literally more sturdy because I experienced a few crashes yes. and uh, nothing happened to the bike. And I can confidently tell you, Auto Engine now makes one of the best uh, guards, guards. In, the, in the market. Yeah, and we can blindly go for blindly it. Blindly go for it. And they're really affordable and they're really premium. Got it. Good bang for the buck. Yeah. Okay, next is the uh, engine guard. Yes. The engine guard is same from Auto Engine now. Yeah. And uh, this has, uh, if you notice, has, is made up of CNC aluminum grade. Okay. So if I tap on this, you can hear the like the high quality then like the the thickness yes. gauge of this. Yes. Oh, so basically it is really hard. I've uh, I've gotten a few crashes, but nothing has happened to the engine or the tank. Yeah. So next we go on to the bash plate. Yes. Bash plate is from Hyper Rider. So yeah. This is a uh, aluminium coated, uh, like tin, uh, like aluminium coated hyper rider bash plate. Yes. So this is uh, really good for when you're going like off roading. Yes. So if you're going on trails and everything, so basically what this does is it saves your uh, underbelly exhaust. Yes, and, and the engine case. And the engine everything. So uh, no uh, example if a uh, rock goes and chips into the uh, uh, near the engine silencer or something. Yeah. Something the engine fluid leaks out, so it's a big issue. On yes. the longer rides and everything. Yes. So this is a must. So we can be we can be carefree yeah. while you are off roading. Yep, yep. This is yes. the thing, and especially if you go on like those Ladakh tours and everything, you know, yeah. This is like mandatory. Yeah. Uh, so next we go on to the next protection size, which is the saddle stays. Yes. Uh, this is same from Auto Engineer. Yeah. Uh, this is around eight thousand five hundred rupees. Yeah. Uh, with both the sets. Yeah. Uh, so left and right. Left and right, and uh, this is the top rack. This is the aluminium top rack. Yes. If you notice, this is not like a, the a normal top rack. Yeah. So it is coated aluminium and it is really good. And I, it gets the top box also. Yeah. I have it uh, there. And yeah. that is also true from Auto Engine. Huh? Okay. And next is the. Uh, is the is uh, the candy of candy of all candy. the yeah yeah literally the, the icing on the literally cake. Literally the star yeah, of the star mystery. of the video. The icing yeah. on the cake. And this is the original carbon fiber, fully acropovic. Uh, original exhaust from uh, from Acropovic. Yes. So with the bent pipe, if you've noticed, I've removed the resonator and put a straight pipe, and uh, it's gone directly to the exhaust. Got it. So there's literally I've not. Uh, it's only a straight pipe coming to the exhaust, and yeah. it sounds killer, literally killer. Yeah. Literally yeah. killer. <laughs> you will notice all the like people heads turning and left and right. People ask, is this is original or not? Yeah. So when I turn it on, they find it whether it's original or not. Yeah. So that's the reaction I get from everyone. So this is another protection. Uh, this is the OG bug dusters with the white and black combination. Yes. So if you notice, this is like a proper highest grade of aluminium. Yes. So even if you crash, nothing. Literally, if you total the bike, nothing will happen to the bike. 
uh, like everything will happen to the bike but nothing will happen to the yeah, guards yeah, literally yeah, yeah. i've seen bikes totaling out but yeah. nothing happened to the knuckle guards yeah these it's, are top it's class over engineered yeah, it's over engineered yeah. these are bug busters best of the best. best yeah so basically this costed me around 10500 plus uh, fitting around 200 to 300 rupees okay. so basically around 1100 rupees you can tell that so this is the toxin of a brass chain this is a fully brass and yes. the sprocket kit with a 42 tooth uh, tooth so yes. basically what it does is it is more premium and it's more sturdy compared to the stock ADV uh, 390 yeah. sprocket and the chain so example if you leave it after the rain and everything right doesn't rust yeah. basically that is one advantage and you need fewer chain yeah, adjustments chain adjustment. Chain adjustment. Chain adjustment. Like you after it gets loose right yeah so you don't need to tighten it regularly yes. basically so copper it's just you yeah. have to lube every lube, 500, lube every 500. that is there in almost all chain yes. bikes that is uh, you can't maintenance is almost there in almost all automobiles uh, yes. if you have if you own a mechanic in moving automobile but the maintenance, is, maintenance is comparatively lower Mo many much lower compared and to the stock yes. and it lasts longer also yes if it uh, if this if the stock goes around for like 5000 or 10000 15000 kilometers max to max yeah. even if you do, do really well maintaining it yeah. this will last you more than that almost double yeah. of that so we are saving yeah Money also. Money also and you will be saving effort also in maintaining the whole thing. Yeah. And this cost me around 4500 for the whole set. Yeah. The sprocket and the chain. Yeah. So next year I guess uh, this is from Carbon Racing the... Yeah this is the stand, uh, side stand, stand extender. extender. Yeah. So this is also a really good extender because what I've noticed is the Zana extenders they usually fall off. Yes. So they are not so securely tightened and this thing. So this... Yeah. So this one has the thread uh, lock, thread lock video. Yeah. Uh, if you push the thread lock, it doesn't, it doesn't move. Yes. So I and had also yeah. in off-road situations yeah, yeah. when you are parking on yeah, the yeah. soil and yeah, all that. The, if you notice, this is more like aluminium bottom top. Yes, and, and it has more surface, more surface area, area and our yeah, yeah. our stand will be secured yeah, onto the ground. I highly Black recommend this carbon racing. So since I do a lot of long rides, like long tours and everything, yeah. so to, make, to keep my back comfortable, I have this Figo air seat. If yeah. you notice, uh, it has a pump action system. Yes. If you press it, it, it pulls in air. Yes. And if you press this button, the air goes out. If you press it, uh, put in a little force. Yeah. So basically, according to your taste and your liking, you can adjust the setting. Yeah. So it is more plush yes. and, and there's no like uh, jerks and everything compared. Yeah. 50% the ride is more easier and it is yeah. more softer. And more comfortable. More comfortable. Basically, yeah. your, your ride will be very comfortable throughout the journey. Yeah. So next we have the RAM mount. Uh, there yes. is no uh, introduction required to RAM company. Yeah, it's the, the best. Best of the best. The RAM company is more patented uh, top class mounts. Yes. So uh, this is the RAM mount. This is the X grip, the yes. XL grip. Uh, so basically what you do is if you push this along the sides, it yes. opens up, you place your phone here. Yeah. And even if you fall, the phone won't break. Yeah. That's like yeah. a guarantee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> even if it falls from the uh, this thing, then it might break. Yeah. But if but when it's in this now, it's securely placed. Yes. That's more. That's how security is placed inside. Yeah. If you notice, I'll place my phone. I leave it here. If I shake the bike also, nothing. Nothing it's, will happen. It's literally, literally secured, and yeah. it's a quick grip. I yes. don't have to do anything. Just like this, like this, like this. The phone's out. Yeah. Very convenient. Very convenient and very protective. Next, we have uh, this is uh, screen, uh, screen protector. protector. So basically, I didn't want to go for a high class screen protector. Yeah. Just something which would. Uh, uh, something would would protect the basically the screen from yeah. scratches so i don't have to replace it from the factory yeah so that will i try to avoid as much as possible i try to maintain my things yeah so this is one thing i had so and also you have a gps mount yeah i have a gps mount this is from carbon racing yeah so this carbon racing and the windshield comes as a set okay comes as a pair for five thousand rupees oh, okay. how much did you pay for the ram mount uh, ram mount is 4.5 okay and these are the uh, hush grip puppies uh, uh, foam, grip foam, grip, foam grips they're really good uh, I feel uh, like you people sign find it a bit fat like in a sense yeah. but after you put on the gloves and everything right yeah I feel it's a perfect grip and it's all with the grip like and I guess the vibes also, come, vibes down also or come down come down yeah you can uh, don't need to feel the vibrations and all yes uh, uh, after the put on this yes. so and, and it's all weather literally I've driven ridden in the rain and uh, almost all terrains dirt also uh, so there's no effect to it so yeah. it's a really good uh, pair of hand grips so a lot of electronic modifications and upgrades have been done on this bike starting from the mad dog fog lamps so it's really effective when we are riding in the 
fog in the fog yeah. in the rain and all especially that especially in the hilly regions and everything yes like munnar where you expect a lot of clouds and everything yes. so basically uh, what this does is this is the smart dog scout x yes so you get a higher version for this the alpha yes. this costed me around uh, 10000 plus fitting around 500 rupees yeah. so that is around 10500 rupees yeah. with all the wiring harness the switch and everything if you yeah. notice this is the waterproof switch yeah this is the waterproof switch and it glows in the led here yeah if you notice so if i turn it off the led glows off yeah. if i turn it on the led glows on yes so the harness is inside wired yeah so these are really good work for the money value for money yeah. and the next electronics is the power tronics yeah. so, so is, you can change maps i believe yeah yeah so this is the map switch so if you notice it's on map two yes so if i put it on map one map one is known for the city yes so like if you don't want extreme power, power and everything yeah so if you want all bonkers of a capacity of this engine yeah. so you put it into map 2 yeah it goes into the beast mode yeah. <laughs> and uh, i think uh, uh vicky has experienced that yeah, yeah. <laughs> so basically i put the power tronics v4 yeah so next mod is the fuel x fuel x pro if yeah. you notice this is the fuel x pro and uh, since I'm having the custom exhaust and the cane and filter yeah. and uh, and and uh, like Vestra ceramic brake pads and all yeah. like performance mods, I'm running on MAP7. So okay. MAP7 is more higher, rich, 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 rich. richer. Yeah. The leaner, you, the lesser you go, it is more leaner. The yeah. more you go, it is more richer. richer. So yeah. since I'm having the Acropovic original exhaust and the cane and filter and the uh, in, 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 NGK Iridium oh. plug plug. So that's the reason I'm running on a higher setting map. So it all works in sync basically. Yeah. So it's been dyno tuned. It's from Race Dynamics. So yeah. after uh, what people do is they get it tuned before they get the performance mods. Yes. You should be supposed to do it after you get all the performance mods. So you get it all works in sync. So they do after I got all the performance mods, I got it dyno tuned at Race Dynamics itself. Yes. So they did a splendid job. Yes. Oh, hats out to them. So there has to be that fine yeah, balance. Yeah, fine balance. So it works all in sync. Yes. So because if the incoming air is air compression ratio is less, yes. so it won't be stable. Like you can feel the jerkiness in the bike and everything. So yeah. after the dyno tune, so yeah. basically it feels more linear and more powerful and literally it feels like a rocket. There's no power lag at all. Yes. yes. So there are a few more mods left. So I have the Vistra ceramic brake pads because yes. we need stopping power for all this power generated yes, <laughs> basically and yes. if i don't have stopping power i'll be end up in a hospital yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i need and please guys ride with gas all of the gas yeah. don't miss out any gas and next is uh, the knn filter this yes. is the knn uh, knn is a really good company knn and bmc are the top companies i would recommend yeah and uh, one more thing left is uh, which one is left oil oil the, the, the beautiful oil so yeah. i use 300 v square so yeah. it's fully synthetic grade 10 watt 50 oil yeah. so basically it is a racing performance bikes yes. or like all like r1 like uh, s1000 double r yeah. basically the super sports yeah. so those type of bikes use those oils and it's fully synthetic organic oil yeah. and it is a really good high viscosity oil yeah. so it's really good and it's really smooth the engine runs really really cool they have lesser vibrations yeah. and uh, after putting all these mods basically i have like a electric bike i could say yeah after the throttle response i would say yeah honestly from the end of my heart yeah this is my dream bike yeah. for the first after i had a rx before this yeah so this is a, a adv i would keep forever yeah so uh, like i would say this is one of my best modded so yeah spent good. a lot of spent time, a lot of time and effort and yeah. research and money on this adv yeah so uh what would be the approximate total expenditure on this uh, bike for I mods i think mods 1.2 lakhs something like that 1.2 1.3 lakhs okay okay and Except a lot of time lots. and a lot of lot time lot of time lot yeah, of time yeah, so yeah. i've got i've got it fitted at the best the possible best places technicians. like asura garages yeah. asura garage and moto drift hyper yeah. rider yeah. then 6k home all those yeah. companies not a single place like wherever i would find the place at the best prices at the best deals yeah. i got it from there so KTM's motto is ready to race. Ready to it race. comes out, the machine comes out ready to yeah, race. Yeah. But your machine is definitely ready oh, to fly. Ready to fly, literally, yeah. literally. <laughs> if you shift a gear and if you don't have experience in this bike yeah. and you're not uh, new, if you're not used to KTM's, yeah. you will end up in a in a drain or something. I would definitely <laughs> because so much power is there in yes, this bike. Yes, yeah. I understand. I just took a short spin <laughs> and. Uh, I was mind blown. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the video will be up next. Yeah. So. So I'll just show you the exhaust after this row. Yeah. Uh, you can have a live. Uh, I'll just show you this. Uh, so I'll turn on the exhaust now. Yeah. So if you notice, this exhaust is uh, tuned in such a way that it is only uh, audible in the higher RPMs. Yeah. In low 
opinions, it is not audible that much, so I can yeah. see, I can like, not very harming to public. Yeah. So if I rev it now. So let's rev. like it can be heard five streets five five hundred meters far away yeah, yeah. and it's really crazy that is the power of beauty of acropovic basically yeah the original yeah. acropovic i'm telling you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i've seen a lot of replicas, yeah, replicas but they're is... not worth it yeah and plus it your engine also yeah uh, so basically uh, i would suggest to you if you have the money and if you have the patience yeah. uh, do find a appropriate exhaust and everything yeah. so basically it all works in sync so, so you've seen it in one, the video one question uh, how much did the acropovic whole system cost uh, you the whole system i got in a good deal for around 40000 okay. i got it used from yeah. a friend yeah. so the new one will cost you around 1.12 1 or 1.3 lakhs Okay, so, so basically the I, budget on this bike is somewhere beyond 2 lakhs worth yeah, of yeah. modifications If you go it uh, like on the original, 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 original. new one new Or the one. new ones, yeah. so it was in mint condition, yeah. so it was really good deal yeah. So you should be smart in the brain where you should be Yeah. Uh, so yeah. that's the reason yeah. I got it Super brilliant bro yeah. So I am on this mad machine, taking it out for a spin I will tell you what all uh, I feel during the ride So this is completely kitted out I'm really excited and the sound from the Acropovic adds to the excitement. So let's turn this baby on. Crazy. Let's go. is like instantaneous like an electric bike the way it opens up brilliant brilliantly done there's no lag it's like throughout the rev band I'm getting the power delivery throughout you know Right from the start, I'm getting the throttle, lovely, sound is kick-ass. So, I've come to this empty road, so let's test it out. Let's get some clearance So it's all clear Go! like the most awesome 390 I have ever ridden Yes, I can, it's a bomb Wow, rocket So with the fuel X, the powertronics, the air filter Brilliantly done, brilliantly optimized Brilliantly tuned wow. He can't like You know, 
In the lower RPMs, it's kind of uncomfortable on a normal stock ADV, but in this, like, it's so calm and composed and ready to attack. It's like brilliant. Really brilliant. I hope you guys enjoyed the mods to the bike of my bike. Yeah, yeah, I really is, uh, loved it. This bike is uh, like a piece of gold in my heart. Yeah. If something happens to it, literally my heart will get scratched. Yeah. That's yeah. so much of time and effort I put into this yeah. bike. I so, guess you love the bike yeah, more than yourself. Literally, I, yeah. would, uh, I would. If I had to sleep on this bike, I would sleep literally if I had a, like a <laughs> travel van and everything. Yeah, yeah. And keep it there and yeah. travel the whole world in this. Yeah. But that is yet to be there. Yeah. So I, I hope you guys liked the video. And please like, do share, and subscribe to uh, Vicky's channel. And uh, please comment on the mods and how you like the bike yeah. and everything. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, Sharik, for uh, letting this happen. I hope you enjoy the video, guys. Let me catch you in another video. Till then, ciao. See ya. See ya.